cell mediated immune response the cell mediated immunity or immune response is an immune response that does not involve antibodies so rather this immune response involving the activation of phagocyte or phagocytic cell antigen specific cytotoxic T cell and the release of various chemical or various proteins such as porphyrins and granzyme in response to an antigen. To be brief, cell mediated immunity involves the activation and clonal selection of cytotoxic T cell that recognize and destroy the pathogen. Cell mediated immunity. So, infected cell display antigen fragments on its surface via class 1 major histocompatibility complex. So, an activated cytotoxic T cell recognized and binds to the antigen MHC complex via T cell receptor. Then, the activated cytotoxic T cell release Perforin. So this perforin, uh, which is released by this cytotoxic T cell, can form pores on the infected cell on the membranes. So the activated cytotoxic T cell then secrete granzyme, which is an the chemicals that enter the cell through the previous pore. Uh, which is uh, made by these perforins and lastly induce apoptosis which is a program cell death next so this figure shows the killing action of cytotoxic T cell on an infected host cell so to, be, to become uh, active so, this cytotoxic T cell requires signal from helper T cell. Helper T cell. And interaction with an antigen presenting cell. So, this cell will present the antigen. So, fragment of foreign protein produced in infected host cell associate with class 1 molecule and are displayed on the cell surface so where they can be recognized by these activated cytotoxic T cells so so this cytotoxic T cell also have an accessory proteins that can bind to an MSC molecule. So this is the accessory accessory protein. So the interaction of this accessory protein is called CDA. So with a class 1 MSC molecule displaying antigen target uh, the infected cell infected cell for cytotoxic cytotoxic T cell activity next so this activated cytotoxic T cell binds to a class 1 MSC molecule so antigen fragment complex are formed on an infected cell by the T cell antigen receptor next the cytotoxic T cell will release perforin molecule. So the perforin molecule will form the four pore uh, on the infected cell membrane. Next, the granzyme, enzyme that breaks down protein, will enter into this infected cell via this pore. Next, the granzyme initiate apoptosis. 
Again, the Grenzyme initiate apoptosis within the infected cell, leading to fragmentation of the nucleus and cytoplasm. And lastly, so the, the target cell or this infected cell is dying. So this is called the program cell death or apoptosis. So once released, the cytotoxic T cell can attack other infected cell. So this is the difference between humoral immune response and cell mediated immune response. They say this is the antigen, antigen A, which is first exposure. So this uh, antigen first exposure, let's say this antigen, we call it antigen A. So first for humoral immune response, this antigen A will stimulate the B cell, which is will give rise to plasma cell and memory B cell. Plasma cell will secrete antibodies and these antibodies have their own specific role and function to defend against extracellular pathogen. Okay, again, so for antigen A, which is first exposure, so this so engulfed by antigen presenting cell. So antigen presenting cell can activate the helper T cell. So this helper T cell can give rise to the memory helper T cell and also can uh, stimulate the rising of another helper T cell. So this memory helper T cell also can stimulate the memory B cell and memory cytotoxic T cell when uh, the body is exposed to second exposure. Means let's say this uh, antigen A uh, uh, affected in week one. Let's say after two, three. Two to three weeks, so another antigen, which is the same antigen with this one, uh, exposed to the individual. So this will uh, activate or rapid response by this memory helper T cell to stimulate the memory B cell and memory cytotoxic T cell uh, to be activated. The next is cell mediated immune response. For the, again, for first exposure, let's say antigen A uh, engulfed by this antigen presenting cell. So, for cell mediated immune response, so this antigen presenting cell will stimulate the or can activate the cytotoxic T cell. So, major histocompatibility complex class 1. So, this active cytotoxic T cell can directly defend against intracellular pathogen and cancer. So, in detail for MSC class 1, MSC class 2, and how the B cell, uh, a mechanism of B cell against the pathogen had been explained previously. So, overall, this is the difference between humoral immune response uh, and cell-mediated immune response, which means the overall overview.